Today, we're diving into a really important topic, fire drills on board the vessel. I'll tell you about the rules and requirements set by the International Salas Convention for such drills and, of course, I'll show you an example of how to properly conduct a fire drill report. Before we start, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, it will greatly help its development. Let's begin. As per Regulation 19, Emergency Training and Drills, Paragraph 3.2 indicated that should be at least one fire drill every month. Fire drill is an educational event where a simulated fire situation is created to teach crew how to respond in the event of an actual fire. During such drills, participants practice using firefighting equipment, learn procedures for safe evacuation, practice teamwork coordination, and become familiar with equipment handling. The primary goal of fire drills is to prepare crew for effective and composed actions during a fire, minimizing risks and ensuring overall safety. What are the requirements for conducting a fire drill on board the vessel? We can check this information in SALAS, Chapter 3, Life-Saving Appliances and Arrangements, Regulation 19, Emergency Training and Drills, WHERES indicates requirements for fire drill on board the vessel. Paragraph 3.5.1, fire drills should be planned in such a way that due consideration is given to regular practice in the various emergencies that may occur depending on the type of ships and the cargo. As we speak before, we should to plan our fire drills every month without any delays. The main important information for us is indicated in the next topics. Paragraph 3.5.2, each fire drill shall include reporting to stations and preparing for the duties described in the muster list required by Regulation 8. Starting of a fire pump, using at least the two required jets of water to show that the system is in proper working order. Checking of fireman's outfit and other personal rescue equipment. Checking of relevant communication equipment. Checking the operation of watertight doors, fire doors, fire dampers and main inlets and outlets of ventilation systems in the drill area. Checking the necessary arrangements for subsequent abandoning of the ship. Paragraph 3.5.3 The equipment used during drills shall immediately be brought back to its fully operational condition and any faults and defects discovered during the drills shall be remedied as soon as possible. All of these topics should be clearly marked in our fire drill report. It's very important to prepare the drill report strictly according to SALAS requirements because it's one of the most checked documents during port state control inspections for the third mate. Let's prepare some example according to all requirements as per SALAS. This is our company form for drills, and now we will prepare simulation of fire drill. 1530, general emergency alarms sounded. Crew arrived at muster stations. Head count completed by the chief officer and reported to the master on the bridge. 1531, fire and hydraulic pump room announced by the master via the public address system. 1532, fire pump started and tested. Pressure 7 bar. 1534, fire flaps and dampers closed. 1536, power supply isolated by the electrician. 1537, first aid team reported the readiness of the first aid kits, stretcher, and resuscitating equipment. 1538, fire hoses prepared. Boundary cooling commenced. 1539, fire team prepared with all required precautions. SCBA sets checked and found in good condition. SCBA cylinders found within the correct pressure range. 1540, communication via UHF between the on-scene commander and fire team leader checked. 1541, the chief officer reported to the bridge that the fire team is ready in all respects and requested permission to proceed to the investigation of the fire area. 1542, received permission from the master to commence firefighting operations. 1543, Fire team entered the fire location and reported that the switchboard panel was on fire. 1545, 
fire team reported that the fire is under control and extinguished by means of a powder extinguisher. 1549, chief officer reported no more fire in the hydraulic pump room. 1554, firefighting equipment secured in designated places. 1600 hours fire drill completed. This is an example of fire drill report on board the vessel. Don't forget to attach a few photos from the drill and collect signatures from all the participants. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up, and leave your comments.